let's have the user redirect to our application component purely based on their authentication status. Now, to handle redirecting, we can take advantage of the browser history component, which allows us to push routes onto the navigation of this application. So when we're console logging that the user has been created or signed in, we can simply also call browser history dot push on our app component to navigate automatically to that app page. Now, as we save, the application might already redirect you to the app page. This is because the Firebase code includes logic for saving info on the browser in a similar way to cookies. That way, the user is still signed in if they revisit the application if they haven't signed out yet. So our on auth state change listener returns a valid user because Firebase remembers that user through this browser. Great. So now that we're in app, however, we need some way to get back to the authentication form and unauthenticate the user. But first, let's add another browser history method of replace, because if the user ever unauthenticates, we'll simply need to redirect to sign in. Cool. Head back to app.jsx, and now let's handle unauthentication. Let's add a sign out button. It's as simple as adding a button here. Its class names will be BTN and BTN Danger, which gives it that dangerous red color. And then on the click, we'll call a method that simply says a sign out. And the button will say sign out. Cool. Now we need to declare that sign out helper method within our class sign out and then we'll need to add some code so let's import firebase app from go back one directory to firebase and then once again we're going to find that firebase app auth domain and then this time we'll simply call a sign out Let's save. And there's that big sign up button. Let's click it. And there we go. We're back to our sign in form. Neat beans. So the next step is having our user information actually accessible within our application. It'd be helpful to have the user available in props because the email information and other info on the user will be particularly useful for our app. To achieve this, Let's add some Redux logic to this application that allows a component to access the user info whenever it needs it. So let's move on to finally adding Redux to this application. See you there.